Hi there, it's Paul in Perth here, and I'm doing something I haven't done for a while, which is make a video about a BL Mazda 3. The one we've got here has got an issue with the airbag light coming on. So let's just have a look at what happens when I turn the ignition on. So I'll turn it on, I'll start the car, and you can see there the airbag light is on, then it goes off, and what it's doing now is a self-check, and in the self-check it's coming back on. So that's the symptom of the problem. Now, just to tell you, we have, put a, we have put a scanner on this and there are no codes at all. As far as the car's concerned, it's fine. Now what that tells us is that something in the airbag module itself has gone funny. So a capacitor is broken or a resistor or something in the integrated circuit, maybe a solder joint has come undone, but something is actually just physically wrong in the airbag module because all the airbags are installed none of them have gone off and there's no bad connections because if it was just a bad connection we would get a code it might say for example that the driver's seat um, uh, the circuit is open which would mean probably the plug underneath the seat had fallen out or something like that but we're not getting that now just to show you where the airbag control module is it's under your cup holder so what you do is you tilt up the um, cup door and firmly but gently, because you don't want to break any of the plastic clips, you're going to pull straight up, right? And then you're going to have to tilt the, um, the center console lid up and lift it up and over the, um, the handbrake. Now, always have a look inside for money because there's always, always something in here. And true to plan, as you can see, there is a $1 coin with the kangaroo on it. We'll get it there you go with the kangaroo so you'll always always find money that's a little tip for you now this is your airbag control module they put it here because this is the safest part of your car it's the part that in a massive massive um, accident you won't get the center of the center of your car crushed it's the safest place to put something and you'll notice there's a code on it so this is a bfd1 57k30 there are four different models that are in the uh, BL. They all end in 57K30. So the only thing you really need to remember is the first four digits. I'll put all of the different models in the description and I might even put a photo of all of them uh, in the end shots. So that's where it is. It's held in with three 10 mil bolts. So there's one there, one there, and one there. There's three of them. And there's three plugs at the back there, okay? Now, first thing you need, need to do is make a decision on how you're going to resolve this. You either need to go to a Mazda dealership and have them use their Mazda tool and try and correct it if it's a, a, a memory problem. And that may or may not work. The way that will work, if you just back up, is if you get the exact same model out of a car that hasn't ever been smashed, so this has come out of, and you can, you can pan around to it if you like, that's my chassis 23 there, which is my new car that I'm now wrecking. And that one has never had the airbags go off. And as it turned out, it had the right model of airbag control module. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that with this, and then we're gonna turn it on, and we're just gonna try and see how it goes. Now, I want to tell you, I have gone into the EE proms of these, and your VIN number is recorded in there. I absolutely promise you, I've read it on the EE Prom Reader myself. The car doesn't seem to care. It doesn't um, worry if it's a VIN from another car at all in the way that it does care if you put another instrument cluster in with a different VIN. If you do that, the this car is stolen light comes on. But with the, with the um, airbag control modules, it just doesn't do it. So grab yourself a 10 mil and you need it on an extension arm because you're a fair way down, okay? So we're just going to go and we're going to undo those three bolts. Right, so there's one out. Two out. The third one's a little bit harder because it's uh, it's partially under the the um, the handbrake boot, but you can get to it. A 
okay so that's the third bolt out now to get the plugs out you need a flathead screwdriver and i've just realized i don't have one did, did you have one there okay. thank you okay so flathead screwdriver now there's actually we'll see how this one goes it's a little bit smaller than i've used you can actually just do it by pressing and levering if you've got a big enough yeah that's it that'll work okay if you press and lever they come out and I, I can tell you i've mucked around with these a lot this is far and away the easiest way to do it is to press and lever Although i'm having a bit of trouble i've got that center one there we go Two. So press and lever, there you go. Okay, so that's the old one out, right? So we need to remember this one bad. So put it way away so you don't confuse it with the good one. This is the good one. All we're going to do is we're going to put the plugs in. Same order. Because they're the same plugs. Now, it's unlikely it's taking a ground through the bolts, through the mounting bolts, so probably without even bolting it in, I probably can just test it. So, grab the keys. So, we'll try it just with it off. Now we'll go on. So, that's on. Now it'll go off. It's doing its self check. And we'll just see whether it comes back on or not. Okay, I think that's long enough. No, it hasn't. Okay, so that was the problem and we have now fixed it. So there you go. That's one way to fix that problem. And remember, no codes at all. So there's actually no diagnostic thing that's going to help you here. You just have to know that uh, what it means is that something in the airbag control module has gone wrong. There you go. Thanks a lot from Paul in Perth. Uh, tell us what country you're from. Tell me whether I helped you out. And uh, I'll leave a... Um, an image showing you all the four different um, makes and models. You can't swap the makes and models. You have to get the same one. Thanks from Paul in Perth. See you later. Hi there. I just wanted to explain to you why you will always find money and things down in uh, below your cup holder. And the reason is, for whatever reason, the cup holder has been made with these holes in it. So anything you put in there can, can just bounce out and then come out those holes. That's why you always need to look for money down uh down down in there and by the way we have found another coin hiding down there under our um handbrake switch but it's really tricky to get to that one uh but you will always find money down there and the reason is these holes all right see you later